All right. No one ever expected longtime friends Meredith and Lisa to have an issue they couldn't resolve, but a rant and a retaliation seem to have shaken this friendship like a Vita cocktail. <laughs> So clearly your relationship never seemed to recover after Lisa's hot mic moment. Are the two of you on speaking terms now? Hi, Meredith. Hi. <laughs> I wish you a happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> happy birthday to you, too. Thank you. You wished her a happy birthday? With you. Happy birthday, Lisa Barlow. I yeah, happy birthday, you. Lisa. <laughs> well, oh, I, I mean, on Watch it. What Happens Live, <laughs> I mean, did you wish her a happy birthday personally? No. No. Hypothetically, if she had contacted you after the reunion off camera and said, I want to sit down with you and hash this out and apologize to you, would you have taken the meeting? Yes. You would have. I didn't feel like that. Can you forgive her? My issues with Lisa today have nothing to do well, with I her childish tantrum. I, How many times do I have to say the same thing? If your animus towards her doesn't have anything to do with the hot mic moment, what does it have to do with? Um, after Arizona, we were in a neutral space and hopefully positive movement forward. Shortly thereafter, I come to find that Lisa had removed me as a follower on her Instagram and was hiding her stories from me. And then what really set me completely over the edge was when we aired Reunion last year, I explained that I was very hurt by Lisa that I didn't hear from her when my father passed away. And Lisa went to Twitter and posted a lot of text messages that actually occurred a month later to make it look like I was lying. That is I, not oh, true. Excuse me when I had already been traumatized enough about my father's death, okay. where she had already created confusion over dates. Oh. And that to me was just like, really, we're gonna go here again with something that was so raw and so painful to me. I, I couldn't understand the rationale. And I thought, this is not someone who wants to move forward with me in a positive direction. Noah from Boise said, Meredith, you started talking crap about Lisa from the get-go. Was your plan to get back at her for her hot mic rant? The context of all of those conversations was completely cut out. The context with which you Here's spoke was that you were worried about her. That is correct. I was concerned. I didn't think that the behavior that I saw was normal, regular behavior. And so I was concerned. In all honesty, if I could have come to some level of understanding. Did you reach out to her to see if she was OK? No. I probably should have. And at the end of the day, regardless of my intentions, Lisa, I am sorry that I said that there were rumors out there about you and that I did not believe them. I apologize for saying any of that. Thank you. Joel from St. Louis said, I'm confused. Are there dueling rumors about Lisa going around? Apparently. The first one being Lisa giving blowies for jazz tickets, <laughs> and the second being Lisa trading sexual favors for Vita sales. Oh, no, there's like three or four from this group. I would yes. love to Can I have a glass this. of water, please? I'm dying. Sorry, I didn't mean you to You would interrupt. like to clear I, yeah. First of all, I never said Meredith started the rumors. I said she was the one that started talking about it. OK. However, when Meredith came to my house, she said there was rumors about Lisa that she performs favors for the placement of Vita. Isn't that absurd? And I said no. And I said what I had heard. I never said blowjobs for courtside seats. Never said that. I said those rumors, like, are about this man because I heard them from Angie Harrington. We get to Arizona, Heather spun my words and said, blow job for courtside tickets. If that had happened when you came and told me all this in Arizona, why didn't you say, remember, this is the joke that Angie I made. I did. It wasn't a joke. She told other people it too. I think she did say that. She did not. You sat in the front two seats on New Year's Eve with Angie. Angie told us that John, Wait, that Barlow, and Lisa have those tickets because Lisa sleeps with <laughs> That's how I heard it. And you were there. I did you not were hear it. There. I the bottom line is, Andy, I'm so grateful. No matter how much hate Whitney girl. got for it, I'm so glad she came in and stopped it. Because if Whitney didn't come Stopped in that night, it. she started it. No, I, I did not. No she started, started it. She didn't start oh, okay. it. Meredith I don't think started I believe Whitney one, would have never said anything set. if other people in this group were not going to Whitney and talking about it. Well, I actually, think it would have been. Funny, all she I never said a word before Whitney disclosed a lot of stuff to me.